Hey guys, no long intros here. This video series will focus on short topics and tutorials to further your flight skills and knowledge. In this video, we are going to look at precision approach path indicators or PAPI lights, which will give you assistance during final approach in any aircraft with or without instrument landing assistance. This means that you can get a proper glide path, usually around three degrees towards the runway while flying visual flight rules or VFR in an aircraft without the fancy G1000 or any type of vertical assistance from autopilot. It's not useless during instrument approaches either. It allows you to ensure your glide slope or path is correct and that your instruments are working correctly. You can rely on these because they do not rely on anything in your aircraft and are purely optical or light based and emitting from the airport. For those familiar with military equipment, the Pappy is like the meatball on an aircraft carrier. Let's have a look. Pappy lights are extremely simple in operation using Frenzel lenses to reflect one of two colors of lights back to you, the pilot, to indicate your height within the glide path. Pappies are always four horizontal lights that are installed in the standard configuration on the left side of the runway. In some non-standard configurations, they can be on the right side, for instance, if some obstruction exists that prevents them from being on the left. In this case, we have four white lights. Watch as we descend and the lights start to turn from white to red, moving from right to left. It's important to note that these lights are not actually changing color. Both red and white lights within the PAPI system are on all the time and using a Fresnel lens and reflectors for you to see the appropriate color when at a certain height. This also means that at just the right height you can kind of see a combination of both lights or a pink hue or color as they are changing. Now watch as we gain altitude, notice them moving from left to right and from red back to white. If we stop right when there are two lights of each color, this is the center of our glide path, and we are on a perfect approach at three degrees usually, but this is dictated by the approach plate of the airport. If our approach plate in some mountainous region has a maybe 10 degree glide path, PAPIs can assist you here too, but this would be indicated on the approach plate for the airport itself. Now as we gain altitude and get just slightly high of our glide path, we see three white and one red light, and as we get even higher, we see four white lights. Three white lights is just slightly high of your glide path. You may want to reduce your throttle by the tiniest amount to get back on. If you see four white lights, you are definitely too high, but the PAPI system does not indicate how much too high you are, just that you are too high. The easiest way for me to remember what the white lights means are all white, check your height. Similar to the white lights, if we go below our glide path slightly, we will see three red lights. If we are too low of our glide path completely, you will see four red lights. To recall this easily, I say, all red, you're almost dead. Now, as we move back from the proper glide path, we see that the glide path is now above us, and we see four red lights. This is what we would see if we were intercepting the path. As we move forward to intercept it, we see one white light appear indicating that we are starting to intercept and we should start to reduce power and begin our descent. We should aim to stay within the path and see two of each of the colors, two white on the left and two red on the right. If we do not descend on the glide path quick enough or fly straight ahead, we see the lights change white indicating that the glide path is below us and that we are too high. Precision approach path indicators should be visible during the day from 3 to 5 miles out and at night up to 20 miles or more. Another note, if you are having trouble seeing the lights in simulation or distinguishing the yellow from white, make sure the bloom setting in your general display options are on. With bloom off, you can barely see the lights even at night properly. Also be aware that there's another system called VASI, V A SI, or Visual Approach Slope Indicators, still in use. These are a similar system which puts two white lights on the runway with two red lights further down the runway. They are not in use at uh, many airports anymore. They are slowly being replaced by the PAPI system. I haven't found one yet in Flight Simulator, but I'm sure they exist. If you like these types of quick instructional videos, give it a thumbs up so that I know to continue them, and subscribe now to get notifications of my next video. Thanks a lot guys, see you in the skies.